Hello all you magnificent morons. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another video. Look at your screen. Look what we have here. Finally, some good news, something positive that's been added to the game. We are zooming in. Look, behold, a new map. Wow. Safe Haven, Japanese port city map. And I have to say, uh, I have to say, I've only played it uh, twice in the regular uh, rotation, random battles. And then I took a little spin in the training room. And I like it. It is a g Well done, Wargaming! Finally, a new map, and it's not a postage stamp. Uh, it's, it, it's decent. It's got a lot of... It's got a lot of... Uh, well, let's just have a look at it here. I'm, I'm, I have no idea what I'm doing here. I think this is the first game I played and I'm detected already. This map has lots of lines of sight. Even though it's kind of complicated and looks like there's lots of cover and lots of obstacles, there's lots of uh, long sight lines. Like here I accidentally... Oh! I'm in a good spot here. Uh, I'm hauled down behind this uh, wall and I can see people just... Wow! I didn't even know. I have no idea what I'm doing because this is like the, the second game I played on the map. And why not do that? In Wargaming's own video, they say that this uh, this port side, uh, in their own video, they say, if you have a fast tank with a strong turret, there are many good positions to take <laughs> on this side of the map. Behind these walls where you can protect your hull, you have a fast tank with strong turret you can find a good position now what were they aiming at there let's uh, uh what nations have s fast tanks with strong turrets uh, i don't think they were talking about czechoslovakia uh, they weren't really talking about france or england um, but, or italian so they must have been focusing on one tech tree when they designed this part of the map that uh, s fast tanks with strong turrets can get behind these walls and have some pretty good positions. <laughs> I'll let you, I'll let your mind ponder that. But uh, yes, it's, it's very interesting. It's a big map, so, so that's good because, well, I did get spotted in the first five seconds, didn't I? But uh, typically, <laughs> in a big map, less chance that everyone's going to get spotted, that an EBR is going to dominate on the battlefield in the first 15 seconds. So it's a big map, that's good. Uh, you see, I'm moving around tentatively. I don't know. See, there's lots of different buildings and walls. And I'm not sure who can shoot me. And there's this tunnel. These catacombs. Look at the enemies in there. They're, they're inside these tunnels. I, I was tentative here because I'm going, what? What, what, is, what is this? They're inside. And then you can also go above. And I go, well, okay. Uh, from the few games I've had and from moving around on the... Uh, just driving around uh, on the training room my initial reaction although you know, I, I reserve the right to change my mind once I play it a lot but uh, these tunnels in here to me seem like uh, death traps once you're in there uh, it looks like there's some ramps so that you can actually get hull down uh, but there's multiple entrances to these things and now watch this Russia says no okay that's in the flat part of the armor let's make sure we hit the flattest part of the armor there, yeah. Wargaming would prefer if I press number two and spend a lot more credits, uh, and then I'll easily kill these guys. There's always that. It, it seems to me that uh, going inside there is kind of a death trap, because once you're in there, everyone knows you're in there, and if the enemies uh, enter from multiple uh, entrances, you're kind of surrounded. But I, I, maybe not. We'll see. Let's take you. I press two now, so it'll be no problem. I'm a much better player, you see? See, much better. No problem. That's all you have to know about this map, is just load premium ammo <coughs> and dominate on the battlefield. See, so you can go inside here, uh, but I'll show you, I'm going to show you this quick game. This is, I think, the second game I had on this map. But there's multiple lines of sight that you can shoot inside here, even from the field. I'll show you that in a minute. And I, I wasn't really sure where I was going here. Yeah, I guess you're already safe in there. That's the one thing. You're already safe in there. But... Uh, I don't know. Okay, so I'm, uh, you have that uh, kind of warehouse port side with multiple, multiple places to go. 
and then you have this open side which uh, I've driven around I'll show you in the training room it's not just it's not just a big open field uh, what's the map that I hate uh, Berlin where everyone fights in the two or three little squares where the uh, the buildings and the rubble is everyone and if you have a tank with a good turret gun depression you get into one of those little windows in Berlin then you can fight and then there's the field side that's just a, a graveyard where uh, TDs and and lightly armored tanks just go and sit and if you want to cross it's you take your life into your hands and you can't spot each other and you just basically wait to the outcome of the game is usually decided in that uh, two squares where the rubble is let's take a shot on this guy it, were you listening to me or did you notice that guy falling off the bridge and that guy does not know that I have two shots <laughs> so you see this is a lot of different uh, topographical variations in this map there's bridges there's uh, it's not just a big open field on this side there's uh, there's highs and lows and lots of bushes and lots of rocks so I think there's going to be an equally uh, equal amount of opportunity on this side of the map for uh, faster medium tanks snipers TDs I think it's going to be more fun than Berlin Berlin in my mind is just a horrible map they should just make the map a three squares by three squares where that rubble is the ruins are and just let heavy tanks battle it out the, the rest of the map is almost irrelevant but in this map some of this uh, s southern area is is very relevant now here I'm noticing that this Czechoslovakian heavy with two shots is just not as good as a Burask <laughs> with two shots and this Burask still has a shot but it was a victory and I really enjoyed the map it, uh, I, I, uh, I call BS when I see BS but I also give praise when praise is warranted and I'll tell you uh, this is nice to see for once we have positive feedback on, uh, on World of Tanks they've introduced a new map that is great uh, but you know one new map every two or three years is, is not good enough and Wargaming, you have some other maps that uh, are available, but you've turned them off. Bring them back. Right? Variety is great. Now, I'm just in my little uh, American light tank here. And I'm just going to buzz around. I'm, I'm uh, in a training room now with a couple of uh, viewers from my stream. And look at all the possibilities here. This is where I was initially. And you can move to a position like this. And you're, uh, if you have a strong turret and a fast tank, you can you catch people that come across like that. And you can hide your whole hull behind these indestructible walls. Look what's back here. There's a, a little alcove back here. I imagine if you're driving a grillet or a sniper tank, perhaps you can... Let's just go look here. Look, they've put a special bush here. <laughs> uh, artillery SPG players, blind fire this bush at the beginning of the game. You will always hit a grillet. You can shoot the same spot. Right? They're not out of render range. You can shoot over there if anyone spots and there's people crossing. You could put a hurting on some people that cross into the open there. So even though there's uh, lots of walls and alcoves and rubble and boxes, there are long sight lines on this map. You have to watch. You can sh get shot from just about anywhere. And the other thing I really like about it is it's so complicated and there's so many uh, uh, left turns and right turns and ways to go. I'm going to just show you here. If you, you can go around to the left here. You can go that way. But let's, uh, let's go around here. There's so many different directions to approach from that I don't think there's going to be just one meta. You know, on a lot of the maps, let me talk about Berlin again. In Berlin, you have to go to those uh, ruins where the... Where the the buildings the ruined buildings are and there's like two windows per side there's there's two windows where you kind of climb up and you get uh, hull down in one of those windows there's room for two tanks on each team to get the little cubby hole windows and the other 13 players <laughs> it's just a shit show there everyone's crammed into one spot and the meta is just go brawl in that one spot and whoever wins that fight wins there's other maps too where there's just one uh, Ensk, the new Ensk. It's just a corridor where those buildings are because you can't shoot across into them 
uh, just corridor maps where you just fight it out. And, and there's lots of maps like that where there's just one or two corridors and that's the game. Head-to-head uh, -head fight. But this one, you notice me driving around, you can go up there. Uh, the little al uh, catacombs that I came through there, you can climb up here. There's just so many different... Uh, uh, pla Oops, I can't drive. There's so many different places to go here. Uh, and I like that. It's not just one corridor, so I don't think there's just going to be one meta. Get to that spot. If you don't get to H3 behind that one rock, you lose. Right? There's a lot of maps like that. And of course, the fastest tank with the best turret armor usually gets that spot. Now imagine this, where I am right now. Look at the wall. Uh, imagine if you have a fast medium tank with a good uh, strong turret, like uh, perhaps uh, well, one of those Russian ones. And you get to a position like this, you're hiding your hull, just your turret exposed there. There's no artillery in the game. Uh, uh, spots like that are going to be very interesting. Now I'm going to show you something here. and I think the first game I played, the first game I played I was randomly driving around like a Muppet. <laughs> and I learned something. Uh, I was somewhere over here in the low ground. I had to escape into the low ground so that I, I wouldn't get sniped from some of the field positions, which I'll show you in a minute. And I was somewhere around here, and there was a brawl going out, going on in those catacombs, in those, uh, in there, right? And from here, I just farmed them. I, there was a T-95, and there was a couple of tanks uh, fighting over there. The enemies were in there, and they were facing my teammates on the other side. And I was in a position like this, and I could just, I was just shooting them up the ass over and over and over again. So you got to always, there's, there's cover, and you think you're safe, but from way on the other side of the map, like if you, know, you just farm people from positions like this, there's long lines of sight, and you have to be cognizant of, uh, uh, of where you are and where you can get hit from. I've been hit, I don't know the map yet, okay, this isn't a... Uh, a detailed map analysis. I'm just uh, just giving you a little bit of a look here and and telling you that uh, yeah, I really like it because it has a lot of variety. It's uh, it's different. It's fairly large. It has uh, positions for lots of different tanks to go. Be very careful because um, you can get shot from almost anywhere. It looks complicated. You think you're in cover somewhere in the on the port side, or and you get shot from who knows where, and you go, how the hell did I get hit from there? So it's going to take a while for people to figure out exactly what uh, the best positions are. And isn't that great to have some variety where you have to learn something new instead of the same old, like having a, whoops, that's not a destructible little piece of, okay. Uh, you know, playing a, a session and you get Ensk three times and Himmeldorf twice, right? And then you go to the bottom lower tiers and you get a Mittengard. <laughs> Or Provence, like come on, you know it gets it gets old. There's a bush there that you can go to initially. I'm showing you the field side now. It's good to have variety wargaming, and you have something like 15 or 20 maps that have just been turned off because you think they're unbalanced. Just turn them on. Would be my uh, I know that's pretty. We're not going to do that, but why not? It's not like the game's balanced, and that the the maps are making them unbalanced. There's other things that are unbalancing the game. There's a bush here. I'm trying to figure out if you go to the field side what some of the initial bushes are. Look at my view range circles. You'd be able to spot not quite all the way across. So where where would you go? See, there's topography here. You can. It's not like Berlin where when you want to cross the field, you're in the open. You can get down here. Uh, there's rocks and uh, things that you can hide behind. There's corners that you can side scrape on. There's bushes like this. If you get to this bush initially... Imagine I spawned and I came straight to this bush. There's pr good spotting opportunities. Of course, there's only one bush. You could get blind shot there. But look at all the uh, the different rocks, the different corners. You'd be able to push here and try and stay safe in the low ground. Maybe move up some of these ramps and use your gun depression. I think all in all, it's a good map. So uh, in my no BS opinion, Wargaming, well done. Thank you for the new map. That's great. Now, if you could just do this... Five or six more times, maps of this size, I think it's going to really be good for the game. Because uh, those small old maps where you spawn and you're detected in the first five seconds uh, by the EBR, that uh, in five seconds he's in the middle <laughs> of Ensk and everyone's spotted, those maps are getting old. 
Those uh, they've been power creeped. It's not just tanks that get power creeped. Now you're buffing all the old tanks. Some of the old maps need to be buffed. And I don't know how you do that. Make them bigger or, or what you do. But uh, new content like this is always great. It's beautiful. And I hope you guys... If you guys have a, a, a really good game on this map. What is it called? Safe Haven? Send it to me. I'd, I'd love to feature a, a really good game on this map. Maybe uh, one from the... From kind of this approach from the south side here. And uh, one from the... The port side lots of different uh, opportunities on here so guys i just wanted to give you a sneak peek it's not a sneak peek you guys have probably uh, uh gotten this on the rotation a couple of times and uh let's just uh, dominate on the battlefield here and uh, take out this uh, guy that uh, was nice enough to join in the training room with me so that you guys could see this but i will show him my dominance <laughs> Thanks, buddy, and thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you on the next one.